Hi everyone, this is Leonie from my passion for paper. Today I want to show you a box that I made. I made this box for a wonderful lady as a thank you gift. So um, I made the box out of cardboard and I was inspired for that by Sa Crafters. Uh, Sa makes the most amazing projects out of cardboard and uh, I'll put the link to the tutorial in the description box. Um, I was also very inspired by Miranda, who is Miss Liberty 25. I saw her uh, shadow boxes or printer's trays or configuration boxes. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, I saw her versions and I'm really a big fan of her. So I wanted to give it a try uh, myself to create one. Uh, at the end of the video I have some pictures um, to show you kind of how I created it and uh, the box measures seven and three quarters of an inch by six inches and I used the Prima Almanac paper collection again I'm so sorry but I'm really addicted to the paper line it's my favorite at the moment so uh, I love to use them uh, in my projects um, I made a chain here and I covered the whole box with um, Prima Almanac papers and I painted the cardboard black and then rubbed over it with um, metallic silver acrylic paint and here on the bottom I have some beautiful lace that I got from my mother-in-law and some Rina, uh, not Rina, mesh bling here, I'm sorry and here I have a thread spool and some flowers I watercolored most of the flowers with my distress inks and here's a metal corner a big gorgeous I am roses flower and I have a little seashell here and I used some chicken wire in the background I got this idea from Miranda also so thank you so much for the inspiration I really love to use the chicken wire so um, I have a new addiction I, I guess uh, this is a Prima Rose and a Tim Holtz I created some metallic foil tape butterflies and I used um, some trim here that I also got from my mother-in-law I believe most of the laces that I used are given to me by my mother-in-law uh, I have her initial here with some bling a little wild orchid crafts rose this is a big foam flower that I bought in my local store this one's a little prima rose and I really love this charm I think it's beautiful and and here I have a thread spool and a game piece from Tim Holtz and here's a porcelain ribbon rose from Carla's and here I have some lace and I lined it with a tiny flat back pearl trim from Carla's 001 here I have a homemade rose and I used some acrylic paint and here I have a light bulb and this little rose is from my stash <coughs> I have another metallic foil tape butterfly and a wild orchid crafts rose I made these uh, tiny boxes I really love to make my own boxes but never thought of making them small and incorporate them in my project so I saw a video from Anna who is Xanero1 here on YouTube and she has an awesome tutorial on how to create your own little boxes and other kinds of uh, things like uh, a table and chairs and you can incorporate them in your project so I will put the link to the tutorial in the description box as well thank you so much Anna for your inspiration I never thought of using boxes in my project so I think they're very cute and here I have another 
thread spool and a rose from Carla 001 and here's a single rose from the rosette trim and an old key and I used a ribbon slider here and a flat back pearl the pearl is from Saar Crafters and here I have another Wild Rocket Crafts rose and I used some lace that I also got from my mother-in-law here I have a beautiful big flower uh, Leanne recently sent me an amazing rack and I watercolored this with my black soot distress ink I really love to use these flowers they're absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much Leanne and let me turn it this way here I have a Prima rose and another rose from Carla S001 which I watercolored also with my uh, distress ink and here I have a die cut from the collection and a little light bulb and he, in the background here I have some burlap trim uh, in the silver color and I created my own box pleated trim and lined it with uh, black mesh bling and, and here I have a little bottle with some black pearls and this rose is from Wild Orchid Crafts and here I have a little porcelain uh, vase I believe it's called, I'm not sure and I used some white lace to create a bow and uh, here I have some teardrop pearl trim uh, from Wild Orchid Crafts and another foam flower and a little thread spool with some lace and here I have a big crystal that I also got from Leanne so thank you so much Leanne and here's a black fabric flower and this is a Prima rose I also used some chicken wire here another foam flower and a wild orchid crafts rose uh, this is a crochet flower Neen sent me a whole bunch of those crochet flowers and they fit uh, they match the Prima Almanac papers perfectly so thank you so much Neen I really love to use those crochet flowers and another bottle with some pearls and another rose from Carla and here is also a porcelain ribbon rose from Carla S001 and I made this black rose myself and I used some silver acrylic paint and a seashell so I think I covered the whole box yeah that's my first uh, attempt to make a shadow box and I really hope my friend likes it and I had a lot of fun uh, creating it and um, yeah I hope you like it too thank you so much for watching and for all your wonderful sweet comments and um, I hope to be back soon with another project and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend see you next time bye bye